Every milliamp on this uh, consumption is equivalent to about 230 volts. So we got about 24 or 25 milliamps uh, times 230. Uh, we're up towards 5,000 volts here. Okay, that's going through a high induction coil, 230,000 ohms at this frequency, 465 hertz. And that's in series with the water capacity, of which the top is grounded to a, uh, a ground post and the other side here is taken from a 28 foot globe elevated capacity placed in the sky. So we'll turn the light out here then and we're going to try, try just to show some ionized gas discharges from the coil system alone. We got a neon bulb around here. Whoa! We got a cameraman over here. I'm going to try to get him to look up here at the top wire from where it's coming in. And uh, you can see a capacitive. Uh, now, down here, we're going to put it against the plate here, and it'll bleed out into the sound spectrum, making a hum and a noise there. So this is part of the problems on getting the electricity to the device. You don't want any of these exterior things acting. And so we got it coming down through here and here we got the coil. We got the same neon bulb. And we'll just try to get the camera in to look at the polar uh, part of the coil and it's lighting that neon then. Now we're going to bring up a... The other bulb's already lit, lighting from my hand. From the influence of the, they put the argon bulb in there too, and now we got some pretty good shots of dual bulb. Now, I'm trying to what I'm trying to do now is connect the bottom, let the bottom two terminals come together. Okay, yeah, okay. See, there we got we got a hook lock there. It's already working. Now this is the kind of stuff that I want to try to incorporate in a treadmill design of a magnetic field change that will ionize a bulb. Okay, now we're going to try two different bulbs. Uh, this is a higher voltage bulb, the xenon and krypton. Right there. Oh, thank you. Now I think the Krypton will be in my right hand. It's got a violet purple discharge, the other one a green. Try the same thing. Connect the two bottom ones together and stick them in maybe. And we're going in now. Uh, like we can see, there's barely a discharge in that case. Let's separate them. Uh, we might be able to get see something with the camera. A dim green and a right hand purplish blue. And uh, at that point then we'll just end, end here and show some of the discharges from the line system itself. There's one side. Barely producing any effect in the daylight. Yeah, let me find you here. Sometimes you can find more sensitive spots of it. You can also get some crackling down on this thing. Sometimes if the base is real good. I don't know. Not much not much effect on that side. Right there is probably the best. There's the other bulb. And finally, we'll try the other side. That's the sky terminal side. Not much result. Whoop. And then the xenon bulb.
Oh, a pretty good xenon verb effect. You can get a shot of that with my open palm. And it's making a ah uh, buzzing noise there. So that's what you're up. 25 milliamps on a 230,000 ohm inductor. Uh, series resonated with special connections can do. Is that that? That's the end. Let's close it up. Shut it off.